Hey guys, Betty with Shore Life Creations. Let's do a cute sand dollar picture. I am putting on the crushed shell. This is a five by seven glass picture. And I have already prepped the frame. You see the frog tape in the back. The, the glass has been put on with the E6000. I put in the resin and the hardener in separate cups. It's a half ounce of resin and a half ounce of hardener. It's resin art. And I'm putting it in a larger cup to mix it. So it'll be one ounce total. It's one to one ratio. I have all my gloves, I always wear gloves. And I have my mixing stick. I'll put the link in the comments of all the things that I've used. And we will mix for three minutes. Always in one direction. mixing constantly for three minutes. I probably cut it in the video so you didn't have to watch me constantly mix for three minutes. Then I start to add the resin to the crushed shell. Always on the edges first. That's my how I do it so I know that I hit all the shells that everything gets hit Everybody does it differently. That's just my technique. I do the edges first and then work my way towards the center, knowing that I get all the shells hit. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So after it dries for 24 hours, I'll shake it to make sure the loose ones come off. If too many loose ones come off, I'll re-resin and make sure I add some more. Of course, you know it has to dry for 24 hours for the resin to set up. So add all the resin to the shells first is how I do it. And then I'll work my way around the edge of the frame, the glass edge by the frame, and towards the center of the glass. Some people will add their pieces that they add to the frame to the glass and add the resin around it. I prefer personally to add all my resin to the glass and then add my objects on top of the resin. It's a personal preference. That's just my preference. I like to put the resin on first and then start adding my objects on top of the resin. Everybody does things their own way. That's just how I like to do it. You see, I add it around the edges. Then I start working my way in towards the center. It's a, just a drizzle. You drizzle it in. That's why you use your stick. Some use a popsicle stick. I find using this type of stick creates less bubbles for me. For some reason, the popsicle sticks are porous. So when you're stirring with a popsicle stick, it seems to add more bubbles into the resin. Again, it's a personal preference. Everybody goes with what they like. There's no right or wrong. Use what you prefer. That was one ounce of resin that I had mixed up a half ounce of hardener, a half ounce of resin, and I still had a little left over. And that's a five by seven frame.
I had a little drip on my frame. So I got an alcohol wipe and I'm wiping it off. If it got on the frame and I didn't see it and it dried, it would, with your nail or whatever, it would chip, it would flip right off. So don't worry about it if you get it on your frame and you don't see it. That's a makeup stick or a makeup, uh, I don't know the technical name for it. And I use it just to squeegee my resin across the glass, spread it. It's my one of my heat guns that I have. I have two. It's a new one I got. I had another one and it died on me, so I got a new one. And I sped up, I cut out a lot of, edited out a lot of that. So you don't have to sit there and watch me use the heat gun trying to get the bubbles out. But you want all your bubbles out. You want your glass to be just as clear as it was before you put the resin on. So I started and stopped and picked my frame up and looked and make sure I got all my places. I didn't miss any. Sorry, the heat gun's taking up part of the camera view. It's a bigger heat gun than my little pink one. I must have had a lot of bubbles. I hit the camera with my heat gun. Then I took my sand dollar and tried to place it in the middle. If you hear background noise, I apologize. My husband's in the other room watching TV. He's got it turned up kind of loud. Then I used clear crushed glass and placed it around the outside of the sand dollar to give it some more dimension. I took my glove off of my right hand, I'm right handed, and I don't touch the resin, I just drop it in there if you do get the resin on your hands, use your alcohol wipes and wipe it off right away. You don't want the resin on your hands. I keep alcohol wipes right there on my table with me just for that and along with wiping off the frames and that kind of thing. The green frog tape on the back will come off after 24 hours after everything dries, that comes right off. I tried to take that piece of crushed glass off with some pliers and I couldn't get a hold of it. I ended up using my fingers to take it off because I just, I tried tweezers, I tried everything and I couldn't get it to pick up. I think I used my fingers, I just picked it up and then wiped my fingers off right away. I was wasting too much time just trying to pick it up with anything else. Make sure you have a, a flat surface that you're working with. And that finishes us up.